Hey, what's going on? This is Lucas. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to be doing a really quick tutorial on setting up your axe effects to be a pedal board using the four cable method into your amplifier. So let's hang, grab your guitar, and we're going to get right into this. If you want to skip this whole setup process and get right to playing, then head to the link in the description and download this preset right from my website. The first thing that we need to do is we need to establish what exactly you're connecting to your Axe Effects unit before we even get into the software. Guitar goes to input 1, guitar goes out, output 3, into the front of your amp, and then from your effects loop you go send out to input 4, and then out four goes to your return on the amp. It's gonna be a little confusing at first to be honest, so grab a piece of paper, write it down, connect your cables, and then I'll see you in a second. Once your guitar and Axe Effects are physically connected properly, the next thing we're gonna do is go to Axe Edit and make sure these settings are configured correctly for this. So click Setup over here, and we're gonna go to Audio, and make sure that all your inputs are set to analog. And for input two, three, and four, I'm using left only mode. And for my outputs, for output two, three, and four, I'm using some left and right. This layout makes most sense to me for doing this. The next thing that I wanted to address that's really important that actually took me a long time to figure out is diagnosing noise issues, specifically with using a digital system like Axe Effects in conjunction with your amplifier. This opens a Pandora's box of a lot of possible noise problems that you can have. There's three main types that are the most serious. The first is interference picked up by your guitar pickups. The second source of noise is actually a result of digital equipment like computer equipment, dongle hubs, anything with USB cables that are connected that generate a lot of noise. And the third are noise issues generated from ground loops from guitar paraphernalia connected to different outlets or noisy power strips. The first line that we have here are all the pedals that are going to be going into the front of your amp. So for my preset, I have a compressor and I also have a drive pedal. In all of my blocks, I have all of these channels dialed in to generate specific sounds that work for different things. On the second line, these are all the pedals that are going to be in your effects loop. So the first one I have is a noise gate, then I have a chorus, delay, reverb, and a graphic EQ, which can help you sculpt your sound a little bit before it goes back into your amp. A couple quick recommendations about these spatial effects pedals when you're using the four cable method. I would recommend setting these to mono, chorus, delay, and reverbs if possible if you're using one amp. You can also mess with this stereo spread knob, especially on the reverb, we can set that to zero to make it effectively mono. So that's really useful to know about. For my delays, I like to go to the EQ knob and sculpt this a little bit so I can get them to sound kind of lo-fi and same thing for these reverbs as well. So in my preset, we have a bunch of different mono delays, reverbs, and courses that are really useful and it ranges from full-on ambient effects to just tasteful reverbs that work for clean, high gain, pretty much any of that. Part of the reason why I set up this pedal board is that so you can actually use it like a pedal board with your Axe FX foot controller. So now we're going to go to this button here, the FC Edit, and we're going to take a look at how I set up this foot layout. And I just have the FC6, so it's a six button foot switch. Um, so that's what my preset works for. But if you have a 12, even better, you can uh, have more pedals and more controls at your disposal. This foot switch layout is actually included in the preset download from my website if you end up doing that. Starting from left to right, on the pedal board you can see that the tap button so when you press the button what that does is it turns on and off the pedal so that's awesome now we have a secondary function here which is hold so if you hold down the pedal with your foot what I actually have it doing is I have it toggling the channel so you're actually switching between four different pedals here so it's gonna increase the channel by one and it goes from A to D and starts over. So that's the delay. My next pedal is the same exact thing for reverb. My third pedal is a gate, except instead of the hold for channel switch button, since I'm only gonna be really using one type of gate setup, I actually have the tuner set up here so you can hold it down and get access to tuner on this one, the green one. Next is drive with the, with the same channel switching layout. Next is compressor. And last is the chorus. Here are a couple clips of me playing through this exact rig, and my amp right now is the EVH Stealth.
Thank you so much for checking out my video. Don't forget to subscribe, let me know in the comments if this was helpful, and check out my website for a bunch of free and paid downloads for XFX, music production, songwriting, metal production, all that kind of stuff. So I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy. Bye.